So last year, the Office of the Inspector General issued a report. Based on a study they had done, they found that 31% of GIP stays were at least partially inappropriately billed. And based on that, they recommend that CMS, the Center of Medicare and Medicaid Services, increase its oversight over uh, hospice's use of GIP. So GIP is one level of care where you can have a patient do a short inpatient stay in an inpatient facility if his or her symptoms are out of control. And it can only be used if this patient needs 24-7 skilled nursing care. So it's for patients whose symptoms are so out of control that they need an RN to care for them around the clock. And so GIP can, for example, be used for pain out of control, dyspnea out of control, and a slew of other symptoms as long as they're so out of control that they meet these requirements. And then things that CMS does not want to see us use GIP for are things such as caregiver breakdown. There's a different level of care for that that would be respite care. Or when a patient is simply in, imminently dying. So if a patient, for example, what happens on a regular basis, if a patient comes to the ER unresponsive and is found to have, for example, a devastating stroke, then it's really hard because you can't necessarily bring this patient back home or transfer this patient somewhere else. So oftentimes hospices will be called and asked to admit this patient to GIP. But unless this patient has symptoms that are uncontrolled, this is not an appropriate GIP indication. So imminent death is one I think that CMS will really focus on and make sure that hospices don't put everyone who's dying on GIP level of care. So it's really important that GIP is not an automatic level of care for imminently dying patient. What CMS does want us to do and wants to see if they come and review us and our performance is they want to see that our patient symptoms are really out of control and what we're doing to actively manage this. So we need the whole team to document what we're doing and how we're changing medications, ideally on a daily basis, to get this patient under better control. So I think an easy pitfall is for the nurse to document that the patient's comfortable, when in reality, they should be documenting all the things that we're doing to assess this patient regularly and to keep this patient comfortable. So it's not so much how does he look right now, but what are we doing? What have we, all, what have we done to get here? and what are we doing to maintain this level of comfort. Um, similarly, if a patient's uncomfortable but we're not changing medications, then we should consider stopping GIP. Just you have to daily reassess whether or not your patient qualifies for this, I would say, intensive level of care. It has to be a conversation between the RN and the doctor every day. And if you see that this patient's still uncontrolled, it has to be a team effort to document why this patient still qualifies for general inpatient level of care.